Hello and welcome to this session on prelims examination. Uh, in this session, we are going to discuss about the recent trends of questions in preliminary examination of UPSC and we will also discuss from what areas most of these questions are asked in terms of disciplines as also in terms of specific chapters and areas within the discipline. Now few things I just wanted to make very clear to all of you that those who are a little time pressed can rush through the video quickly and if those people who have more time they can easily focus on the uh, questions in detail whatever are there which have been asked in the previous year. And uh, another issue is that along with this video there will be a couple of other videos which will be there for all of you uh, which will help you. One will be on uh, techniques uh, related to how to solve the multiple choice questions and another video uh, will be related to uh, what should you do as part of your last minute preparation. So please subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on those videos. So let us start discussing the recent trends of questions and uh, we will go area wise starting first of all with economics and we have included previous three years questions like 2019, 20 and 21. So let us start with that. First of all, let's see in economics, uh, we have seen that in the recent times, most of the questions they have been asked on concepts. Uh, previously, a lot of questions on trends used to be asked, some questions related to data, but recently we have found that more and more questions are asked on basic definitions, compositions, formulas and concepts. So it is better that you focus on these aspects uh, in the coming times and also more questions are being asked as you can see from banking and RBI related chapters. Eight questions in 2019, four in 2020 and four question were asked, questions were asked in 2020. Along with that, we also have questions regularly being asked from the capital market sector, from the money market sector, of course the instrument, the bond, securities, bills. On these areas also questions have been asked. Then uh, frequently questions are also asked from inflation and prices and expect some of these questions this year also as you know these things are also there in the discussion as part of current issues. Along with that uh, from agriculture sector we can see that uh, some questions are asked regularly from minimum support price, agriculture credit and agriculture market. So you can specifically focus on these areas. One thing I would like to tell as far as economics is concerned in general is that please focus on the technical chapters where there are more technicalities and of course the, the chapters which are related to the banking sector and RBI and because more questions are being asked and because it is more technical it is better that you revise these areas. Those chapters which are uh, related to explanations, a very general explanations like planning, development, public sector, Right. Even in case of public revenue and all the general explanations and whatever you know, there is no need to revise all those things. Please focus on only technical aspects now and maybe you can revise some of the summaries from the economic survey as well. Then you can also see from 2019 to 21, the questions uh, have been asked from disparate areas also like regulatory bodies and poverty line, liberalization, global financial crisis and black money and all these. So these things will obviously be changing. But what is there in the trend is definitely banking sector and the money market and capital market sector, agriculture credit and agriculture market. Let's move on to another area. Now <clears throat> from international relations, we can expect some questions. Every year we see that uh, recently questions have been asked on international organizations and associations. Most of these international organizations and associations, they have been in the news and it may be related to United Nations and its agencies or organizations. It may be related to some global level organizations which have been established uh, either on the governmental through the governmental machinery or extra governmental affairs also, maybe certain types of initiatives or pacts uh, which may be uh, the industrial sector may have come together to have a pact or maybe the other sectors, uh, non-government organization may have come together to establish an association. So just try to follow whatever is there in the current and uh, in the discussions. So those kind of questions like you can see on uh, in 2019 we had question on United Nations Office on Drug and Crime and then Investment Bank, G20 members in 2020, IMF then UNCDF question have been asked. I mean, we have included 
uh, some areas of environment but environment we will discuss separately also so you can expect more questions from international organizations and associations moving on to uh, other areas in, related to international affairs like bilateral agreements also there have been questions i mean i haven't mentioned the year wise because it is not as frequent as the questions have been there in international organizations but bilateral agreements international reports index ratings indicators on these areas also questions can be asked and national or international days as well questions can be asked then we also have uh, agreements at the international level and regulations programs and schemes like various pacts which have been signed there may be treaty there may be certain international laws and uh, there may be certain types of safeguards here also i would say that whatever has been uh, happening in the governmental sector as also extra governmental sector also please keep into account whatever is happening as far as the current issues are concerned so these are very specific area you can see the trend that questions are asked every year see two three questions sometimes even four questions have been asked from these areas then let's move on to uh, organizations in india also you see many a times we find that uh, questions are asked from the regulatory sector uh, different types of authorities which are working or boards or commissions which are there in different ministries or departments but spe specifically those which have been in the news recently also as whatever has been in the news in past 5 6 years please take care of that so if you cover that maybe one or two questions you can get from these areas as well and for source for for all of this please uh, follow some important websites of the ministries and especially those organizations like for that matter something which is there in the uh, current affairs or issues now you come across some organization of the government there please try to look into a little more detail of those organizations especially if it happens to be a regulatory body or any authority then regulatory regime i have already mentioned that and uh, move on to now environmental area in environment questions are mostly asked from these areas which i am mentioning uh, though it covers a vast arena but still to be specific questions are usually on environmental legislation regulations and policy most of this will be at the national level and when we talk about regulation even questions have been asked on rules but mostly those which are there in the news recently otherwise all important legislation anyhow you would have covered there's no need to bother about that but please mind if there are rules which have been in there in the news please get into the details of those rules and regulations then uh, as far as international level is concerned there may be certain regulations uh, in the form of uh, not that uh, those strong laws but something like treaty or some protocol that any how you have to cover another area for environment is uh, that the questions are asked from environmental uh, conservation technology right so this is one more area now usually it becomes difficult for people to cover all these areas but it is a better it is a good idea that you have some kind of material on environmental science from you which you can cover environmental technology or conservation technology and especially those which are there in the news get into details of those then uh, also in environmental sector questions have been asked very frequently and this is a very important area on biodiversity and questions related to species species in terms of where it is found what are the application of those species and other information which related to these species you can see that over the period of time from 2019 to 2021 increasing number of questions are asked like four or five questions even have been asked on this particular area so please prepare this properly along with that there have been questions on pollution related issues especially the by products from industries the chemical pollutants or pollutants from industries or agriculture releases into the environment into the atmosphere you should get into those by products and pollutants because every year you see uh, one or two or three questions are asked from this area then of course there will be one question mostly on global warming climate change every year at least one question and recently we have more questions being asked from these so these are the important areas as far as environment is concerned like regulations and policies are there then conservation and environmental technology biodiversity and then questions related to pollution pollutants uh, chemical by products and of course global warming so pre please prepare properly these areas environment and uh, you can those people who are little time pressed you can 
uh, you know just get into the details of what all questions have been asked in these years so that you get a better idea and anyhow i will be discussing uh, some more detail about how you can prepare you know in the last one month what all what should be the focus area in another video and for which i repeat that please subscribe the channel so that you don't miss out on those videos then one more thing you should properly cover is the biogeochemical cycles because very frequently it is possible that they ask you they have been asking questions but they can ask you more questions on biogeochemical cycles let's move on to geography now now in geography you see we have seen though see i haven't covered like all the questions and i'm not telling you trends of all the questions i have picked up those areas in this videos and those questions which shows a particular trend right so these are the areas on which every year questions have been asked now this may cover around say 65 percent of the overall questions of every year so you can understand that from where which area you need to focus now so as far as geography is concerned there may be a lot of questions on indian geography physical geography and world geography and all of that but there also we have seen a particular trend that a lot of questions are being asked those which are related to environment and biogeography wherein there will be a short short question on either national park or sanctuary or biosphere reserve or any of the protected areas. So you need to know their definitions and also the details of, uh, especially in the in Indian context, as to what are the uh, localization and distribution of all these, uh, you know, uh, bodies, uh, the environmental uh, space expanses, uh, so that uh, uh, you can easily answer those questions. Then second is, at the world level also, as far as you can cover, you can cover, but mostly the questions will be asked at the India level. Then we have questions also related to uh, water bodies, lakes and reservoirs and rivers and where the rivers are flowing, across which countries the rivers are going, then the relationship between continent and seas, like which country and what sea they have, you know, the spatial pattern which is there, how uh, it is reflected on maps. So you need to cover a lot of maps as far as your last leg of preparation. And I will be talking about it, how to cover that in a separate video again. Then we also have questions related to distribution, spatial distribution of different types of phenomena and focusing more on natural regions and vegetation. So these are the areas where you should be focusing and geography you see more and more. Now, if you see the trend here, 2019, 20 and 21, just because lesser and lesser areas have been covered here in the slide, it reflects that in 2021 it is becoming more difficult to predict the areas from where the questions are coming from geography right but this is not something not very definite but at least you can get a clue on what area you need to focus upon then there also are questions uh, which may not be directly related to geography but it may be related to other areas whether it is environment or economics uh, you know something which is interdisciplinary uh, questions on agriculture, the type of farming or agriculture every year, one particular type of question like something related to climate oriented agriculture or environmental friendly agriculture or something related to new methods of irrigation, one question is asked every year. On water every year I have found that they are asking one question, whether it is related to technicalities of water, whether it is related to geographical distribution, whether it is related to sustainability or environmental issues, there may be a question on water as such and of course natural regions and vegetation I have already mentioned. Then let's move ahead. Now we have also questions in science and technology. Uh, in science and technology it is very evident that one particular area from where every year and more and more questions are asked is genetics and biotechnology. So this is one chapter you cannot miss revising and uh, revising it comprehensively. Another area from where a lot of question is asked in general science also is microorganisms and applied science, the diseases related to them. So we see that more questions have been asked in the recent time from these two chapters. Otherwise, according to the time you have, you can focus upon a space technology where there may be more likely that we get more questions on space technology. Uh, then digital communication and other technology also as much you can cover but please focus more on biotechnology and genetics. Then also we see that questions in science, uh, they have been asking in recent times lesser questions which are directly related to general science and more questions are related to applied sciences. In the sense that uh, the day-to-day -day appliances which we use in-house or whatever equipments are used uh, 
you know outdoors also if you have been observant through logic or otherwise also you can answer those questions but on the working of these uh, common applied technology there have been questions like a question on uh, sodium led or there was a question on pressure cooker all these areas then chemical properties of substance and elements i don't know how will you be able to cover it now but then uh, just keep in mind that in case if you get time then you can focus upon chemical properties of certain substances elements especially those which are more uh, popularly used in the industries then come to polity uh, polity, there is a very uh, you know, categorical uh, evidence here in terms of what areas these people are asking questions now. Uh, but then of course it is subject to change. But you can see that again the questions are becoming more conceptual, value oriented. Uh, for example, there have been questions in terms of the values enshrined in the preamble and the constitution overall. There are questions related to political values like liberty and equality, certain political ideologies, idea of Gandhi, idea of Marx and so on, which, which can be easily answered if your concepts are clear with respect to these ideas. Apart from that, definitely every year questions are asked from fundamental rights and directive principles of state policy and these are all conceptual questions. They are not getting into any factual details about uh, what cases have been there or what issues have arisen out of the fundamental rights but they may ask you that as well but still we see that in recent times the questions have been mostly on the concepts and the interrelationship of dpsp and fundamental rights or both of them how they are related to constitution overall then there have been questions related to parliamentary system what is the relationship of the parliament executive there have been frequent questions being asked on judiciary but remember most of these questions are are conceptual questions so while you revise uh, you can focus more on these but i think there's no need of uh, you know doing a lot of revision on these areas because you have already developed this understanding on the basis of which you will be answering most of these questions so maybe you cannot waste much time in fact i will tell you exactly what you have to do in this last month of preparation as far as different area is concerned in the another video then there is a question which is asked uh, almost every year now on administrative reforms related to governance now it will be very difficult for you to cover all these areas so i think this is one area which you should not worry too much about if you can answer by your general understanding especially the students of uh, public administration maybe to some extent even political science student may answer some of these questions but you don't have to bother much because at the most there will be only one question on administrative reforms and now just for one question you are not going to you know study or do revision of all those commissions and committees and reform process let's move on Elections also we have seen uh, frequently questions are asked on representation of People's Act or otherwise also on the election process. Then in history and culture, uh, you can it is easily discernible that the, there are questions in ancient ancient India. There will be a question on Harappan or Indus Valley site for sure. There will be one question on Jainism or Buddhism. There will be a question on inscription, especially that of Ashoka or maybe some other ruler as well. So these three areas, mostly they are asking you questions on temple architecture, frequently questions are asked, on literature question is asked. In the medieval times, mostly they are asking questions on the events happening in uh, different, uh, you know, uh, eras of different emperors. Uh, there are questions related to historical sites. Uh, there are questions related to administration, specifically revenue administration in the Mughal times. These are important areas. And as far as modern history is concerned, you can see that there will be a question on acts that were passed by the British Parliament for India. There are questions on various agreements reached out or pacts reached out between Congress and the British. There are questions related to Governor General, like one uh, which was asked in 2020 related to Lord Wellesley. And uh, there will be one question mostly on the movements. So these are specific areas from where one or two questions are asked. So you can just go through in detail some of these questions which are already there on these slides and uh, understand these trends. Now we also have a social sector where questions are mostly asked on social legislation. You can see that uh, not every year but often the questions are asked and uh, especially the social legislation which have come in the past five years are important and more so the programs and schemes of the this particular government like 2014 onwards it should cover all the programs and schemes and especially in the social sector where the questions are likely to be asked and finally there are also questions related to trends in production 
uh, with or maybe even trade for that matter which is related to geography or economics i have just put it separately you see uh, three questions were asked in 2019 and 20 also in 21 i don't think there was any such question but there may be questions and very likelihood that there may be a question or two on the trends and you can follow it up maybe some specific chapters of economic survey the uh, summary which is there available for these you can also uh, you know uh, follow our telegram where you can get all the summary of the economic survey and those summaries are important in the sense that exactly what all is required it is summarized over there nothing you will not miss anything out of it like you will become totally you know foolproof as that you have covered the economic survey so they every chapter may run out of like may run somewhere around three to four pages but then it would be worth if you can go through or maybe you can do it selectively some important chapters so that was all as far as the trend is concerned i hope this video will help you watch out for other videos and please subscribe the channel thank you so much